written and explains the rules of the Highland Games. The Highland Games is a traditional set of events that are contested every year around the world, but it's most popular in Scotland of where it originates from. These events are designed to test power, strength and skill. There are many events that make up the Highland Games, but the most common are the Stone Put. Similar to the Shot Put in athletics, the main difference is that an actual stone is used instead of a standard steel shot, with a maximum weight of 22 pounds for men and 12 pounds for women, and you can use any technique you like to launch the stone. You may have either one or three attempts depending on which games you go to. A competitor must keep the stone cradled to their neck prior to releasing the stone. They must attempt to put the stone as far as they can. They must not step over the trig, which is this tow board, and the stone must land between the lines. The competitor that puts the longest distance wins. The Cabre Toss The most popular event of the Highland Games is the Cabre Toss. Competitors will try and launch a very large tree log, known as a Cabre, onto and over its end. These Cabres vary in size and weight, but on average are 19 feet 6 inches long and weigh roughly 175 pounds. The object of the game is not to throw the caber the farthest. The aim is to actually toss the caber onto its end and for it to land in the 12 o'clock position, relative to the competitor. It's hard work just picking up the caber, let alone launching it, but it's even harder for it to land perfectly all the way around. This is rarely done perfectly and judges are on hand to make a decision if there's a close tie. The person who has tossed the cable close to the 12 o'clock position is the winner. The weight throw. Competitors will throw a weight tied with a chain and handle with one arm only. There are two separate classes of events, the lightweight event, which is 28 pounds for men and 14 pounds for women, and a heavy event where the men throw 56 pounds and the women throw 28 pounds. Any technique is allowed, but they usually spin to gain momentum prior to launching the weight. The person who throws the weight the farthest wins. As always, the amount of attempts allowed vary depending on the games that you go to. The Scottish Hammer It's similar to the hammer throw in athletics, but traditionally in Scotland, they actually use a hammer. This hammer has a maximum weight of 22 pounds for men and 16 pounds for women, and modern hammers are large iron balls on the end of a wooden handle. The object of the game is the same. You must throw the hammer as far as you can, but there's a catch. You're not allowed to move your feet prior to releasing the hammer, and you must throw it over your shoulder. This results in competitors wearing spiked shoes so that their feet don't move, and swinging the hammer around their body several times in order to gain momentum to throw the hammer over their shoulder. The furthest distance thrown over a set number of attempts wins. The weight over bar. Competitors will try and throw a 56 pound weight as high as possible. They must use one hand and throw it over a bar which increases in height. Each competitor has three attempts at any one height and the highest throw with the fewest misses wins. A similar event called the sheath toss is sometimes played in its place. Competitors will use a pitchfork and try and throw a 20 pound bale of straw for men and 10 pound for women over the bar. The same rules apply and the highest throw with the fewest misses wins. The tug of war. Teams of eight competitors each will take the strain of opposite ends of a rope. When the starting gun goes off, both teams will try and pull the other team towards their direction. There is a midline of the rope and two markers on each side of the midline. There is a coach on hand to shout at the competitors to try and encourage them to pull harder. The team that pulls the other team over their marker wins. Those are the most popular events you'll find in the Scottish Highland Games, but there's just a few other things that you'll need to know about before contesting or watching these events. For example, other events. Some games have different events to others. Here are some of the other events you might find at the Highland Games.
kilt. All competitors, unless doing track events, must wear a traditional Scottish kilt, preferably with the tartan fabric of your family's clan. This is a great way to show off your Scottish heritage, and if you aren't Scottish, well, it's at least nice and airy down there. Dance In modern Highland games, there are usually separate contests for traditional Scottish dance. Competitors will perform a predetermined dance sequence to popular Scottish bagpipe music, and judges are on hand to decide who performed the best. Opening Ceremony Each Highland Games are opened and closed with a ceremony, very similar to the Olympics. The main highlights of the ceremony are the military-style marching bagpipers, the competitors themselves, and the crowds of people that line the streets and sometimes entire fields just to watch the games. If you do come to Scotland in the summertime, I highly recommend that you check out one of the games if you're nearby. The experience is pretty immense. And if you have found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, you could post this video and discuss it there. But in the meantime, enjoy the Highland Games.